Hello and welcome to Love Where You Live, a monthly production of the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce. I'm Betsy Alice and I'm the Executive Director of the Chamber. Today we have three segments and in our first segment I've invited two very important people to join us. Paul Kuplick, who is Vice President of um, Wisconsin Bank and Trust, Correct. and <laughs> Lindsay Harrison Eirich, who owns social or owns Engage Social Media. And the reason I say that these are really important people is that they are uh, at the top of our core of volunteers called the ambassadors. Um, historically, chambers of commerce have always had this troop of people who are their face in the community, who do some of the really hard work and the fun work, and who make it valuable for our members to be part of the chamber. Uh, so I've invited them here so they can talk about this a little bit this morning. Lindsay is what we call the royal, which means she is the top of the top, the creme de la creme of the <laughs> ambassadors um, for 2017. And Paul is next on deck or successor to the throne. Um, he will be the royal in 2018. So we've got the top folks here. We'll take good advantage of their time. Um, I think probably the ambassadors are the busiest group. Um, I know that they meet monthly. I know that they attend countless events and, and activities. And they also commandeer some of those and make them into really special times for our members. So Lindsay, I want to start with you and we can kind of chime in too because obviously we all know about the ambassadors, but what do you say about the role of an ambassador if you're recruiting a new person? What do you tell them? Our goal as ambassadors are to welcome new members to the chamber. So when a new member joins um, between our core group of about 30 people that represent different businesses, um, we go in and we attend ribbon cuttings and welcome them through emails and phone calls and just make sure that they have all the necessary tools in order to be successful as a chamber member. Anything to add to that, Paul? Um, we're also very active in the community. You know, we talked about ribbon cuttings a little bit and, and uh, uh, after our social mm -hmm. events for helping the business community just connect with each other. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a, it's a big commitment that has a lot of tentacles. Um, I can recall one event where the group got on the trolley in their, oh, they always wear blue coats. Mm -hmm. They didn't have them today, but they usually <laughs> wear blue coats at the official events. And uh, we went around to businesses to drop off visitors' guides and say hello. And it was fun. We went to every community in, well, almost every community in Sheboygan County. And uh, I saw that as a pretty big part of the tradition, is that core of blue coat people who are out there with a good smile on their face and a welcome. So yeah, I think it's valuable. And the other thing that I know that you do is when a new member joins, you invite them to things, such as a business after hours. Just because people don't feel comfortable immediately. It takes a little bit of coaxing and cajoling and then they can become part of the group. So, so how does one become a, an ambassador? <clears throat> Well, um, this year we've become very streamlined in our process, so we like to see someone involved in the chamber prior to either having them reach out to us or us reaching out to them to become an ambassador. So like I said, we've got about 30 right now. I think the goal is always to increase that so that the more you have in your own network, the more people that we know and hopefully gain more, more and more value um, for being a chamber member because it's always good to walk in the room and know people. It is. Um, so right now that, that process has become kind of more of an interview where um, Paul, myself, and a few other members of the chamber staff will go in and make sure that they're the proper fit. Um, mm -hmm. and from there, if they, we feel like it's a proper fit, they'll be invited to our upcoming ambassador meeting. So they'll get to meet the whole group, kind of see how a meeting is run and how everything functions and how all of us kind of communicate as a group. Everyone seems to get along really well. It's just a really natural fit. It's a, it's a fun group. Mm -hmm. Um, then we excuse them from the meeting and we vote on them as a group. Um, yeah, it's very, <laughs> very complicated <laughs> stuff. Um, but yes. Has anyone ever said no? No, I don't think <laughs> so. You know, when you're a volunteer, I think it's yeah. always good that you just find the right fit for the yeah. group. Um, and a lot of people already know walking in the door if they feel like they have the time yes. um, and the resources to be able to 
to be part of this. And by then, both parties kind of know, the group knows and they know whether they really want each other to be part of this. Right, so, right. And, and yeah. it, it helps to have either, you know, in Lindsay's case, to be your own business owner, mm -hmm. or in my mm -hmm. case, to have a flexible employer that's willing to allow me to go out to these oh, events. Yeah. I mean, because I'm taking time out of, you know, my daily routine and, and going to the ribbon cuttings or, or whatever events we have scheduled mm -hmm. that day. Um, so yeah. that's always helpful. Lots of them. How mm -hmm. many ribbon cuttings? I what think we thought figure? eight to ten per month of things that we um, ideally would like to be at. So that would be a ribbon cutting, um, which happens for um, basically when a business expands or adds on or does something of that nature. Um, mm -hmm. Or a business after hours, which one business hosts every month for two hours where everyone's welcome to attend. Um, open houses, groundbreakings, different things of that. Yeah. So it, there's a lot of good things happening in Sheboygan County. So that keeps us busy, um, yeah. which is great because you get to meet a lot of people and really get to be the face of welcoming people into our community. So why would someone want to be an ambassador? We get to wear really cool blue jackets. Is that <laughs> it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, that's what's Good so answer. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're very professional looking. Yeah. No, they're fantastic. I mean, honestly, um, from from my personal perspective and, and perhaps for Paul as well, is you, you really get to meet new people that you may not have been able to meet if it were just in your day-to-day -day experiences. Gotcha. So um, that's been really interesting and fun is you get to connect with a lot of people and a lot of times they become your friends and you call them to, to go out for cocktails after work or nice. to go to lunch or to introduce them to another business. I mean, it's, it's truly all about the networking component of it and building relationships. So in our one minute that we have left, I just want to put in a quick plug for the golf outing. Mm -hmm. Because I know that it's all hands on deck right now. It's September 13th mm -hmm. is the golf outing at Quickweak. Um, I think we have one foursome left. So if anybody okay. out there in the listening audience or the viewing audience would, well, I guess it would probably be too late by then. <laughs> um, but in, in any case, always a success, almost always a sellout. And a lot of companies pitch in to make it a successful event. Tell me how much work it takes. <laughs> it is definitely all hands on deck between um, donations and coordinating everything, but the most special thing to me is that we are able to present $4,000 a year in scholarships. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, to be able to give back to the community and see everyone come together is fantastic. Um, the work component of it, I think, is minor compared to what you see when these kids light up and they receive two thousand dollars in scholarships right so well Absolutely. worth the time Absolutely. and i do have to add too that there are other funds that go into other chamber programs for workforce development and coastal and all of those kinds of things as well so it's a big part of the chamber yeah. i mean it's a big fundraiser for us so i thank you very much and on behalf of our members and our board because that work is is spectacular. I'm watching it right now at our office every single day. So we'll be there tonight. Uh, yeah, great. Hopefully there will be pizza. I think so. There you go. So Sounds yeah. Like <laughs> so I want to thank you both for coming in today and helping just educate people a little bit about what the ambassadors are, what they do, and I will tell you how valuable they are. So, thank you, Betsy. Thank thanks you. so much. talk about an interesting program that the Chamber offers, a little brag time for us. Um, it was about five years ago, a couple of our volunteers came to me and asked if it would be possible for us to set up um, some kind of a referral networking kind of event um, that members could take advantage of. And I basically challenged them back. I said, if you design something and bring it to me, we will try to make it happen. So. Five years later and five deep dive 1.5 uh, uh, opportunities. And now we have today. So I think we started with one, it went quickly to three, then it became five. Um, and, and 
You know, today I've invited a special guest, uh, Lindsay Harrison Eyrick from Engage Social Media is here. And Lindsay was probably one of the founding members of this group and some of the first groups that we established. So we're going to just talk a little bit about how it works. If it interests you, all you need to do is call the chamber and, and see how you can get involved. Our members pay nothing extra for this opportunity. So I find that to be probably one of its biggest selling points. Um, but I think what goes on in these meetings is important. So Lindsay, welcome to the show. Thanks, Betsy. Yeah. Lindsay's also a leader of our ambassador group at the chamber. Um, I, I just want to talk a little bit about deep dive groups. <clears throat> I think the name came about because it was a way to establish relationships with other business people. Uh, a lot of them either running a business or being a sales representative for that business. Mm -hmm and kind of going deep with them. So why did you join initially? What pulled you and, and how did you find it at first? Yep, so I started my business about that same time that Deep Dive had come out. So I had been in business since 2013 um, and the Chamber was one of the first organizations that I knew that I had to join in order to network and meet people. Um, so this had come up as an opportunity that was already included with my membership and it was an hour and a half, two times a month for me to really get involved and to network with other people. And the time that I joined, people weren't exactly sure on what social media was. So there was a lot of oh, different, wow. right, right, <laughs> four years, right, five years. how far we've come. But, <laughs> Um, so that was an opportunity for me to go out and do my sales pitch and for people to go out into the community and really tell others about what Engage has to offer. And I felt like it was my mini sales force. So that was very nice. Yeah, that's exactly what I say to people when I promote it myself, is it seems like you have kind of a built-in sales force. Once you have created trust and knowledge about your company, then you have these other, how many are in your group? It varies. I think um, there could be anywhere between 12 and 20 at any given time. So okay. to be able to tell people about new and up and coming things and for them to expand their network, I mean, that's how all this goes, right? Is yeah. somebody knows somebody who knows somebody. So um, yeah, I think that it's doing exactly what it, it set out to do. Very nice. So uh, now I'd like you to just take us inside for a minute and pretend that we're all at a deep dive group sitting in the chamber conference room all around a big table. What happens? So deep dive and then it's called 1.5. So the 1.5 represents the hour and a half meeting that it is. So typically how it's structured is we would um, go in, introduce ourselves, introduce our company, say something new that was happening since the last time that we met. Um, and everyone in the room gets an opportunity to do so. And then we have a 10 minute presenter who's allowed to really dive into what they would like others to know about them. So they could do a personal type of presentation, they could do a company-driven presentation, so it's really their time to shine. Um, and then after that, you've got an opportunity to go around the table again and to say something new about perhaps an organization that you're part of, that they have an upcoming event or they're fundraising for a particular thing. Um, so it really is just truly trying to get the word out about things that are either happening in your life or in your company. Or in the community. Or in the community, and yes. that's a nice addition to it, too, I think. Yes. So that that group becomes, you know, gathers around those kinds of events as well. Yes, I agree. Well, that's a really interesting. So you've been part of it five years. That means, and it meets every other month. No, every, every other month. week. Yep. Excuse me. Yep. Uh, my particular group right now meets the second and fourth Thursday of the month during lunch. Um, there's other groups that will meet before work, so 7.30 until 9. Um, and then there's also a group that meets after work from 4.30 until 6. So the chamber has really done a nice job trying to vary the time so that it fits into people's schedules where they feel like they're able to attend. As with anything, the more times that you attend, the more people get to know you, the more times that you really get to have your showcase in front of people, um, and it just goes from there. So that's the incentive to keep attending, mm -hmm. because the group becomes a little interdependent right? at, at some point. I know when we started it, we talked about making it, um, the 1.5 would also point to, you'll stay in this group for about a year and a half, and then you can choose another group. Most people don't. Right. Most people want to stay with their original group. Right. 
And also, one more point, the groups are made up of people in particular services or sectors, mm -hmm. and we try not to duplicate that unless the group says it's okay. So in other words, if you have two real estate agents, mm -hmm. and one is commercial and one is more residential, they may be able to work that out, and it would be okay with the group to do that. Um, but in some cases, if they're direct competitors, we'd find another group for them to be part of. Yeah, that's a really nice thing is when you walk into the room, you typically don't have a competitor in there, and people are. But the nice thing about how it's all structured is that people really take pride in getting to know you and building a relationship so that they can refer you out and that they feel comfortable doing so because it's their name that's also on that referral. Mm -hmm. So the more times that you can attend and the better that you get to know people, just the more your relationship starts to build. I've always also said there's a member of the chamber, it's the Gloss Coffee Shop, and whenever I stop in there, I always notice that there are people after their deep dive groups who then convene there and meet one-on-one -on -one just so that they can get to know each other better. And I think they also visit each other's businesses from time to time. Absolutely. Tours and visiting businesses and meeting other members of their company. I mean, like I said before, this is relationship building. So the more people you know, the more that you'll get out of it. Well, I can, I can speak for Lindsay in saying that if, if networking is the key, then that's the reason for her, her huge success with engaged social networking because it is, I've watched this business grow and change and add services and, and every time you do that you get to sit, talk about that at one of the deep dive groups. Right, um, right. But also it's a matter too, I think, of plugging into the chamber, um, being part of the business after hours, being part of the ambassadors as you have been, mm -hmm. being part of deep dive and then also um, now being on our board of directors. Yes. So thank you. Yeah, Lindsay's made quite a quite a an effort at, at plugging into the community so that she can better her business and its its reach. So, so thank you, Lindsay, for Thanks, being with Betsy. us this morning. Thank you. And um, I, I know we're going to be meeting with Sean Jackson from the chamber and talking a little more today about benefits, um, and that's one of them. So thanks Perfect. a lot. Thank you. Love where you live. We now have in the studio Sean Jackson, who is the Community Relations Director for the Sheboygan County Chamber. I'm Betsy Alice. I am also with the Chamber. Today we're going to just talk a little bit about, we, we realize that a lot of times people don't know what the Chamber of Commerce does. What we do for your business, for example. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. And even if you're a member of the Chamber, this might be enlightening for you as well because there's just a lot of stuff to remember when you first join. So, Sean, welcome. Thank you. And um, Sean joined the chamber. Joined the chamber. Sean <laughs> became an employee of the chamber in June on June first. Oh, uh, right about there. Yeah. Of uh, this year, so he's uh, definitely gotten up to speed very quickly <laughs> and uh, is building those relationships with our members. So he's the best person to talk to about joining the chamber. Um, but today, we're going to talk a little about what happens when you've already signed that dotted line. Exactly. Um, so somebody joins the chamber, and there's, there's a lot that we go through. I mean, the chamber has so many you know, events and benefits and, and ways that, you can, that people can get engaged. Uh, realistically, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to give you uh, access to our chamber website. And you're going to go in there, and you're going to list the people that work for you. You're going to be able to link um, your uh, Facebook page and your website and your Twitter account and whatever else you have on the social media side directly to our business directory on our Sheboygan.org page. Um, you know, so and then there's a new member meet and greet that comes up where we go in depth with with things. I mean, and the nice thing is the the staff at the chamber is very very helpful. If if a member ever has any questions concerns, uh, needs help with anything, uh, very reactive whether it's someone up front or me or whomever. Yeah, let's go back to the website just for a minute mm -hmm. because I love one aspect of it too, and that is that they all have what we call the upgraded option for their website page within our website. Right. And they can put videos there and photos there, right. and we strongly encourage it because 
people click on that. People go to find certain types of businesses and they will find you that way. Right. Well, Sheboygan.org, I mean, first of all, think about it. I mean, that is the number one website if somebody's looking to do something in Sheboygan County. Uh, visit here if they live here looking for a, a service. Um, you know, I mean, thousands and thousands of clicks per month. Um, I was looking at a, a business the other day where in a six month period they had 158 views just to their directory page. So someone will come to Sheboygan.org, there's a business directory, uh, they'll look up, say, restaurants, that's what this category was at the time. And so there's 158 times in six months that people came to Sheboygan.org, went to their business directory, and the neat thing is because they had their website uh, linked to it, there were 90 people of those 158 that clicked through directly to their website. So that is a huge benefit from a referral standpoint. Right. And that, just one example. Exactly. And you know, and, and, and the interesting thing is I talk to a lot of our members, they don't know those behind the scenes things that we do. Right. You know, um, so referrals, yes. I mean really that's, especially if you're a, a, you know, a small medium business, um, that does a lot of retail. Referrals are really one of the biggest reasons that someone is going to join the chamber. Right. Um, Constant flow of phone calls, people walking in. Yeah, you know, I mean, so the, lots of different types of referrals, like I already mentioned the website, but our staff. So you have people coming in the chamber office every single day, uh, especially visitors asking for this or that. Inside the office, we have all of the brochures and, and uh, materials that any of our members want to put in there for their services. Um, a lot of phone calls. We field so many phone calls every single day of people asking where can they go for this or you know what's a good restaurant or where can I buy this. Um, you know, so we probably have several hundred a month of phone calls just for that. Um, and it, quite honestly, you know, another benefit of, of someone joining the chamber that people don't think about is how joining a chamber of commerce boosts, boosts their credibility mm -hmm. and boosts their reputation. And I, mean, I know you have some statistics. Yeah, you yeah, know, I mean, it's, it's pretty, I love statistics, but, yeah. um, you know, so uh, as soon as someone joins the chamber, they, they get a 28% uh, boost uh, increase in favorability, okay? Wow. Um, they get a 55% increase in consumer awareness, obviously because we put a lot of, uh, you know, information out there. Right and then a 53% increase in local reputation. Those are tremendous boosts. I mean, you know, because when you look at buying something or utilizing a service, you really want to be able to buy or use the service of someone you trust. And I think what the chamber does is it gives them that credibility and that built-in trust factor. Mm -hmm. Because if we have a member that joins and, and we refer people to it, we kind of help each other, hold each other accountable to, to be a good, you know, right. retailer. And the other part is the awareness and trust building that goes on at networking events, mm -hmm. like business after hours. Yeah, the business after hours is pretty neat. Once a month we have that. Um, one of our business members will uh, host it, and it's a, a really nice social networking aspect. I and mean, we have anywhere from 50 to 200 people, depending on the time right. of year and the venue. Um, it's free to our members, you know, mm. so you can come in and usually and there's hors d'oeuvres. that's a big deal, I, well, exactly. by the way, because the... I don't even have to eat dinner that way. I, I know. <laughs> I mean, I, we, we had the last one we had was out at Amori um, in Plymouth. Uh, it's, it's connected to Antonio's and Antoinette's, and they, they, they have a big catering hall, which mm -hmm. is Amori, and they put out you know their famous fried chicken and mac and cheese, and oh, wow. it was awesome. Yeah. And then they usually have uh, free beer and wine. So you know, it's the social networking is something I really really enjoy because right. that's when you get to know people, you build mm -hmm. those connections. And again, if you're an engaged cha chamber member taking advantage of these event benefits right. uh, and, and getting uh, you know, the networking out there and getting your name out there, you're going to grow your business. And, and one other point I want to make that I think businesses miss as well, especially those who have employees, is that their employees can attend these mm -hmm. events as well. Correct. So if you can't come, fine, but you can also send other people yep. um, along the way. So I think that's really an important factor. Exactly. And it's just really just, you know, I want our members to, to engage. Call me, Sean at Sheboygan.org is my email, or call the chamber okay. office yeah. and, and, and talk to me because I, I really want to help them succeed and we have so many ways for them to, to get engaged and succeed in their business. Yeah, I agree. I think, um, you know, they may be tentative at first mm -hmm. and I also noticed that at our business after hours, we try to take care of the new folks who come in. Mm -hmm. You know, try to make some introductions for them, yep. get them out on the floor a little more. I, you know, I tend to be somewhat introverted. I know that's <laughs> hard to believe. Um, but I remember when I initially joined a chamber, 
back in, I won't say the year, um, <laughs> when I had a business. And, and it was a little intimidating to right. attend those events. But I think the ambassadors do a really nice job. The ambassadors of do making an awesome those introductions. Job. Yep. So. The ambassadors do an awesome job. And again, you know, all the chamber staff, myself included, I think we're very we're vested in wanting to see our members succeed, and getting them connected with one another is a, is a huge way to do that. I mean, the referrals. I, me personally, my family and friends already know if we're going to go out and do something, they pretty much know I'm not going to a place that's not a chamber member. Right, and I, I'm I, the same way. I've <laughs> operated the same and way. And they actually do it on their own now. It's yeah. like, hey, Sean, are these guys chamber members? Well, you know, yes or oh, no. And you bring me to another point, chamber yeah. cash. Oh. That's, as a final, that's a oh really gosh. important one to talk about. That is true. I, I am amazed. I, like I said, I've been there a little over five months, and we sell over $300,000 worth of chamber cash. Chamber cash is, you can purchase at our office or even at Festival Foods. And it's a check, and they can take it to any retailer and use it just like cash. Um, they hand the check in. If, if it's $25 chamber cash and it's $20, they'll get $5 back because the member gets that. But right. the neat thing is of that $300,000, we have about 210, 215 chamber members that that money has to be spent at. Right. That is a so it massive definitely pie. promotes local oh, purchasing. Exactly. Right. Exactly. A so. nice benefit. Very nice. Yep, exactly. Well, thanks. I You're know we welcome. left some things out, ah, we always do. and we also can talk about sometime in the future about members in other sectors um, yes. and the benefits that they receive, but this is a great start for those small businesses who are looking to make connections. Yep, it is. Thank definitely. you very much for being with us. Very welcome.